Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another episode of Testing in Nutshell. This is Neeraj Kumar Singh and we are talking about Jira Administrator Tutorials. As a part of this tutorial, we are still looking at the last topic of the user management where we are talking about the user directories. It generally allows you to manage your users from internal as well as external sources. There are so many sources which you might be already making use of and of course requires you to no longer create the user accounts once again when you make use of a new Jira server instance. So all you need to do is configure this external user management database, something example like LDAP or Microsoft Azure or any other option like Atlassian Crowd, which is another product of Atlassian. If you're making use of any of these, you can configure that as a part of your Jira server instance and start making use of it. So you can directly import all your users from this active directory to your Jira server instance, which helps you to manage a lot of settings and of course the user account and details creations. So let's get quickly to the Jira administrator and understand a little more about the same. As a part of this tutorial, we will be understanding more about user directories in Jira Administrator. So far, as a part of user management, we have understood that how we can manage users and groups within the Jira Administrator. Now to continue further in the user management, you can navigate back to the user management using the menu option if you are in Jira Administrator or you can also use the cogwheel at any point of time to switch to user management. Now of course, we understood about these three options in our previous tutorials next is to understand about the user directories now what exactly user directory is all about of course we have been managing the users as of now by creating and putting them into groups and making use of them and also like managing all the users becomes quite important when it comes to the jira same way we have something called as user directory which basically takes control of the entire user management a user directory is a place where you store information about users and groups User information includes the person's full name, username, password, email addresses, and other personal information. Group information includes the name of the group, the user that belongs to the group, and possibly groups that belong to other groups as well. By default, as here you can see, we have a Jira internal directory, which is created by default when you install an instance of the Jira. And of course, you generally are not recommended to make any kind of changes to this. And even, you know, even if you have anything specific to do, you can look into that. But of course, uh, generally it is not recommended. So internal directory stores user and group information in the Confluence database. And you can also connect to an external user directory and add to the Atlassian crowd, which is another product from Atlassian to manage the user. So what exactly we have here? So there are different ways by which you can add or what are the other options which can be used in order to manage external. There are a lot of organization which makes use of external directories. Why should we make use of an external directory while we have something internal here? Of course, your organization might be managing your users already using any external type of directory. For example, it uses a Microsoft Active Directory or LDAP Directory or LDAP Directory for Delegated Authentication or Atlassian Crowd, which is a product of Atlassian again, which can be used to do a separate outsourced uh, user management and can all be integrated within the user directory of Jira Administrator. To do that, all you have to do is click on the add directory and you can drop down here and see that these are the options which are allowed. Now, of course, this allows you to no longer create a new database or create user accounts again in Jira software. All you need to do is integrate this directory to your Jira software instance and all the users can be imported with their rights and other things. So, of course, you can just create certain groups if required. If those groups are still applicable, even for the Jira software, then you can further reduce your effort in order to manage your users. So, right now, we will not be doing any kind of configurations because that requires additional efforts to have a directory externally maintained and try to configure that. We, we will love to cover this in our upcoming tutorials separately. So, right now, we are just trying to understand that user directory allows you to manage 
and connect any external directory as well and these are the options which you can make use of if you're already having them within your organization then you don't really have to create every individual's account once again in Jira software instance so that's it just install it integrate it and just make use of it so that's all from this particular episode team should you have anything else feel free to comment below i'm always there to address your queries and answer them well till then keep learning keep exploring keep understanding the context thanks for watching the video team and happy learning